Hi guys, welcome back to Baldy Makes Stuff and more specifically at the moment Building with Baldy as we're going to attempt to get started on the cool 6 ton dinky toy mobile cr crane by Tony James First session in this and what we're going to be trying for today is the ball bearing turntable it being a page with instructions My intention I think is to try and do a page with each time for these programs and we'll see how we uh, I will get on at that. There are 14 pages of instructions, so that would see us doing um, 14 separate videos. That may or may not work out, but we'll try it as we go. Anyway, what I've got here, I've got the page of instructions, I've got a handy page of drawings, and I've got a photograph here of what the uh, bearing looks like when it's finished. So, that being said, probably taking on far more than I can handle, but, well, What's life without taking a bit of a gamble? So let's jump in and see what we can do. Right then. There's a four, four pivot bolts through a four inch circular plate in outer rolls one, two, three, and six. That would be a four inch circular plate. And let's get myself four pivot bolts. Plenty of pivot bolts to go at. One, two, three, four. In outer hole, outer rolls, and that'd be those. One, two, three, and six. So, and looking at this one here. I'm going to do one, two, three, and six. Turn over so the bolt is rest on a flat surface. This is a flat surface, that's turning over. There we go. Place a washer and a collar on each bolt. Washer. Make sure they're all of a decent thickness. Wash it. And the collar. Plenty of colours to go up. A second circular plate. Here would be my second circular plate. Put it over like that. Fit nuts to bolts one and three. Okay, but we're going to protect them with a washer as well because these are nice and unmarked, and I'm not going to uh, mess them up. So. Tighten them up, and we've got um, the other ones attached as well. So, add a flat trunnion and an angle trunnion with bolts two and six, then add nuts. This is not going to be my best looking Meccano, particularly because it's not going to be visible when we've finished 
building it being covered by body work and such so you know some of this is marked up and i'm not worrying too much about that anyway working cranes get marked up that's a, a fact of life so far more interested in making sure that the build is done so there's that flat trunny end to bolts two and six it doesn't actually show me can't see on the ground either does it indicate which one's going to be the flat trunny and which one's going to be the angle one well let's presume that the flat trunny since it's mentioned first is number two Oh, flat trunny and an angle trunny bolts two and six, so both of them get it right with you. Thought it meant one there and one there like that, but it actually means like that. Looking at the the drawing, that makes that clear. So, get some more. And add nuts. Not going to bother protecting these wee washers because they're already marked up. So at some point in the future, I intend to get all my Meccano powder coated so it all looks pretty. But <laughs> when that sometime in the future will be is yet to be decided. So we'll see where that takes us. I'll rewind like that. Right, let's tighten those up. Line with that, I'm guessing. And in line with that, there you go, first paragraph finished. Well, it's a three and a half inch angle girder to the inner edge of each angle trunnion. Right. Okay, that's me into here then. So, three and a half inch. So, here. No, that's a Five and a half inch, that's me. That's quite a long way out. Hang on a second. Yeah, three and a half, two three and a half inches. To the inner edge of each angle trunnion with the round holes upwards and outwards. So Hang on a second. I know it doesn't make great video when I'm just pausing for thought, but you're just gonna have to put up with that. So round holes upwards and outwards, that's like that, I'm thinking. And that's centrally by the look of that. Don't know where washes on girders.
I'll try not to leave you with too much time without me talking to entertain you. Um, but it's it's easy to hit the zone and forget that you've got you know you guys watching. So, but we'll we'll try and keep some audio going at the same time because dead air is not something you're supposed to do. So, but apologies if I do. I'm not intending particularly to edit these as time lapses because the whole idea is that you're building with me so seeing it in real time as this goes which seeing as how I'm not known for being particularly quick could mean that you're watching for quite some while but it is what it is and we'll see if, if, if the feedback is that you're not liking it taking quite as long as that then we'll have to rethink what we're doing but for the time being I'm not going to edit it out you're going to get it in real time By the way, you only, you only ever see these bits, so just in case anybody's interested in what the rest of my room looks like, let's take a, a quick tour while we're at it. You've got you've got all my stuff here. Well, my small bits there like that. And you've got the wall that you're used to seeing. Poster of Lara Croft. Go around. Window. You've got my Meccano shelf with various models on there and so forth. Pictures of people. TV, where I waste far too many hours on a PlayStation. Poof here where I sit. And things like that. I'm not into bullfighting, but this is a family heirloom as such. My grandma brought that back with my name on it from Spain when I was about five years old. So that's where it gets pride of place. Don't condone bullfighting whatsoever, but there we are. Anyway, there you go. Brief extra for you in the middle of this. Put us back down here now. Back to where we were. And if you saw that this place was a mess, well, yeah, you're probably right. There's a lot of stuff in a, a small space. And, and to be honest with you, this actually counts as tidy at the moment compared to what it's normally like. Yeah. I'm not going to pretend that I know where everything is in the club because inevitably things get lost and I haven't got a clue. I never see him again for months, but it is what it is. Tighten this up a little bit more, it's wandering on a little bit too much, I think. Right. It's a 12 and a half inch angle girder, two of them presumably. The top of the three and a half inch girders with the long haul upwards and outwards. Long hauls upwards and outwards. And three holes projecting the three pivot bolts end. That would be this end. So that would be like that, if I'm reading this right. And that, that looks about right on the... Uh, 
on the picture again the picture there just looking at that picture that would suggest that way of doing it so As I say, I'm not the world's quickest builder and uh, I would imagine there's plenty of people out there screaming at me that they could do it massively quicker than this. Well, maybe I'm going, I don't know, <laughs> quicker than most people. I don't really know. I've just never had cause to compare, I suppose. Just started doing this myself about four years ago. Never had a Meccano set before four years ago. Never had one as a kid. This is an hobby that I came into new and um, kind of got swallowed up by it. You know, most people have got um, a background of having done this as a, a kid and then coming back to it, but that's that's not me. First time into it. Started watching videos on YouTube, people making things out of bits of popsicle sticks and elastic bands and so forth, and I thought I'd have a go at that, but that wasn't particularly satisfying in of itself and eventually I ended up here doing Meccano which you know yeah that was four years ago and more money than I'm going to confess to on camera here we are with a, a ridiculous amount of Meccano on a YouTube channel such is life It's quite therapeutic just sitting here talking to yourself. You guys should try it. You know, I mean, you, you might get locked up eventually, but hey ho, I've got an excuse talking to you lot. Again, th these aren't quite as shiny because these have been coated in zinc. Um, I have all my strips, or a lot of them anyway. Um, that does make them close to the original, uh, very early stuff, I suppose. But sorry, not in zinc, in, in nickel. These have been co uh, coated in nickel um, rather than zinc, which is basically because that's what the local metal plater was prepared to do. The guy who does zinc plating didn't want to get involved with all the fiddly aspects of Meccano, but the guy who did nickel plating said he'd be happy to have a go. So nickel plating it was, and it brought a lot of really crappy stuff back to being pretty decent. Is that good? This frame must be square and the holes in line with the circular plates. I'm going to say that's square and in line with the circular plates. Put three quarter inch bolts through the fifth and seventh holes in the circular plates. And a finger tight nut and lock them in place. <laughs> right, three quarter inch bolts. And you guys. That's you guys. Three quarter inch bolts. Some more nuts. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that, that, that would appear to be where it says. So, yeah. Go with that on the uh, drawing. Why are these only finger tight, I wonder? I'm, I'm sure there's a, a good reason. Tony knows what he's doing and be saying that if it wasn't right that's finger tight a 
Come on. Now, you might all have buggered off by now because I've no idea how entertaining or otherwise this is. But if anybody is still listening, if you see me making a balls or something along the way, feel free to let me know about it. That's part of the point of this that you guys tell me when I'm making a mistake. So. feeling that might be too tight with that now I've done that have I taken that down let's just back that off a little bit mm, maybe not let's uh should have done this anyway for a lot nothing Should have put washers underneath that one, but I'm too lazy. I'm not going back to do that now. And they are only finger tight, so that's my excuse. I totally forgot, but the excuse is going to be that they are only finger tight, so. that section finish with a one inch by one inch angle bracket so here to the fourth and fifth holes of a five and a half inch one inch by one where are you where are you Inch by one inch angle bracket for the fourth and fifth holes of a five and a half inch strip, which is going to be. I know I should know how many holes there are in them, but I always like to just measure the strips and girds every time it says that to make sure I'm on the right length. So, five and a half inch is this. Just to show you guys, this is uh, how I keep my uh, strips on a framework that I made with nuts on it and it keeps them all tidy. Five and a half inch. Right. It's only to the fourth and fifth holes of a five and a half inch strip. Fourth and fifth holes. Strip. Vertical lug at the short end. That's the vertical lug. That's the short end. Check that battery on that phone. Yeah, it's not telling me we're out of battery yet. Hopefully not for some while. And another one inch by one inch angle bracket. You can tell me if we're in the way, but here we are. To the 10th and 11th holes. Presumably symmetrically so. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11 falls. I'm going to presume it's like that. I thought it was going to be centred, same as that, but clearly not. So. Again, there will be reasons. <clears throat> I do hope you can actually see what I'm doing here and I'm not blocking the camera off. Too much. So let's tighten these up. Time. And bolt to the centre holes of the there's a three and a half inch angle girders with the seven four of the centre of the four circular plates. Four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess because we're doing that as a fifth, so that's the seven fall over that. So Hmm. So look at the picture. Not telling me a great deal from those angles. It doesn't tell me whether that should be done like that. Oh well, it won't go like that, so it's gonna be like that. That would have been seen to be that would have bolted through there. We didn't say that. Uh, okay. Let's try again. Oh, 10 for 11 falls and bolt to the centre of the three and a half inch angle girders. That's them. With the seven fall, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Over the centre of the four circle. That's it's got to be like that. So that's got to. It also doesn't tell me looking at the drawing I think actually this drawing shows a protrusion of the end looking from there so I'm going to presume that in order to make that happen it's actually like that and that ties in with that I think we're getting somewhere there like that. If you've made this and you can see that I'm making a bugger of this and you scream at the camera well please stick it in the comments section and if you do well we can rectify it before next time round because I'm not at all sure that I'm reading this right and well it would become apparent further on down the line I'm sure but let's see if you guys can save me some time by correcting it before it becomes an issue Or if I am doing it right, tell me that I'm doing it right as well. I wonder if anybody's still watching at this point. Or if I'm just talking to myself. I'll find out when the video goes out. Right. 
It's a one inch poly without boss with a rubber ring and placed with a wheel disc. Got some of those already made up down here. Just to show you my other bit of storage below the desk, I've got that, and where I'm going to at the moment is this, which is full of my uh, brass work. And there's a one inch pulley with a rubber tire. It's not all my brass work, it's just the circulars. So let's pull that back. And yes, this is me showing off about my Meccano collection, but... Yeah. One inch pulley. Right, but also a rubber ring in place with a wheel disc. Hold on a second. With a wheel disc. Um, wheel disc. Doesn't say what size wheel disc. 28. Well, I'm going with a 34. I'm going with that. Between the two circular plates are now in position between the large centre holes. With it. Alright, that's just about going to fit. If it helps though. Getting that there is going to be a work of patience. Hang on a second, let's get a. a with a. Hang on a second, what does it say? Two inch axle and spring clips. Let's get a two inch axle. And boom. Axles. How many axles do you want? Two inch. That looks like that. That'll do. Now, this is going to require some patience to get these to line up. with a screwdriver between the large and rows with two inch so we've got it there let's put that down there like that that's that one and then it's not found the it's got that it hasn't got the This is fiddly, fiddly, fiddly. Plus, wouldn't problem it with a screwdriver. There we go. I think that went in place. So that's the spring clip. It doesn't say. I'm going to presume that, that that should centre it. Doesn't say to put it in there, but for the time being at least, you can always take it out. I'm going to centre it with that. Ah. Go on, you 
bugger. Ah, good grief. This should be easy, why not? I'm trying not to swear on it. On me, me best behaviour because I'm on tape. So you're not getting the cursing that would normally accompany this. There we are, I think, for the time being. Right. Two five and a half inch circular girders. And that will be these. The four one and one eighth inch bolts. That will be these. One, two, three, four. Down. Inch spaced with a collar. So what, what, join them, join them how? Join them like that or join them like that or Let's have a look and see if we can figure it out from this. So, that. just a skews in this point. So, that's, that's upside down. Now. Space with a color one, two, three, four. So I'm just walking the picture is every other one. Again, look at the picture, it's bugger. I'll tell you what, let's do it different way. Like that, like that. No, that's not going to work either, is it? Right. Through there. Through there. Washer to protect. Remember this. No, oh, no, that's not going to fit the width of it, unfortunately. So, not washer to protect.
one starting to thread. It's not going to fall out. Yeah, that's the way to do it, isn't it? Just loose on each of them as we go. Andrew, why didn't you even give this before? Stupid. This is going to be fun. No, it would have been much easier just to stick to uh, what you call them together. The old, uh... never mind, lost some track of the lot. Ignore me, people do. to tighten this lot up into a it's pulling our squash into a true circle. This lot up. I've got a feeling it's going to be fun getting the ball bearings into this. You can see them going all over the place before it's uh, finished. That is the one part of the model where you need a little bit more than the set 10 to do it properly because the set 10 only comes with a certain amount of ball bearings. Forget how many, and you've got to put some extra in if you want it to be a proper strong bearing. So I bought the extra ball bearings in order to be able to do that. Say I bought had them anyway. But we put any more than a, a set tens worth of ball bearings in. But that and the motor is the only parts outside the normal set 10 that you need to make this model. doing this right? Am I doing this right? Who knows? Well, I'm hoping you guys know. So, if I am making a, a bugger of it, please tell me. I shall say, but I mean, it does look a little bit like it. So, here's my ball bearings.
the disassembly vertical place 12 three quarters on the and we'll take the phone circle place on them so 12 one oh my good grief two this is like a circus balancing act i'm no juggler three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven oh we'll go from the other side to about twelve and look here the four inch circular plates on them there's room for tragedy here Twelve balls through the gap. How the hell am I supposed to add balls through the gap? You've lost me, Tony. Which gap? Which gap? There's no gap there. There's no. This is too tight for there to be a gap. Which which gap am I supposed to find? Before tightening the long bolts, but if I um, oh, if I untighten this too much, all that they're all going to fall out. So oh my word. So let's just tell you what, no, 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 no. It's not having fallen all over the place there. Let's just undo a little bit to get a gap. Still get balls in there. I don't want it to be so wide that they fall through, but I can't do it any more than that. We'll undo these as well. I hope this is right because I'm, I'm guessing it's up to a certain extent at this point, I have to tell you. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, right, position, rolls on it, this, this is, this is sketchy as all hell Tony. <laughs> Bugger, there's going to be a lot of that I've got a feeling. Oh, 
that gap mask off. I'm, I'm still not entirely sure how this is supposed to work. What gap, Tony? What gap? If I undo that even a little bit more. Can I get to the green? See the full hand. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then the other twelve balls through the gap. One. Right now we've got yeah, I think. Two. Genuine moments of tension here. Three, four, five, six, seven, so close that's dropped one. Oh my god why do i feel that he's gonna fall over the uh seven oh. you nearly got that swearing going again eight nine ten Eleven, there's one that rolled on carpet somewhere, I'll get it later on. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't let go of this, but I'm stuck here with this. Better. Well, so that's the original contingent of a full set of art. Then it says an extra 10 balls and extra strong bearing. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, oh, that one's falling out. Increased it. Oh, for f um, nearly that swearing again. This is that's hard work and I forget how far I've got to I have to count these again when I've got these back in here Two. nearly that's swearing I have to tell you that's swearing I said I wouldn't do is uh, Is there a better way of doing this, people? Yeah. It has to be. 
Oh, that, that's not. Right, we tighten it up a little bit because clearly this isn't working at this point. Like that. Um, This, this is there's got to be an easier way than this or not I don't know if easy is the word I'm looking for but it actually works really Right, how many balls have I got in there now? I need some of That's a little bit tired, but hopefully not quite as liable to drop them. Put those back in there, yeah. I'll we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we've got to have another six as a minimum. See now the water go in. All very well, but the water dropping out before, but now the water go in. We want 34 to be ideal, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Tell you what guys, this is not a spectator sport for you, so I'm going to stop the camera at this point until I figure it out myself. As a matter of fact, I think this might be an appropriate point to end this recording. Uh, we'll see if I can figure it out and we'll come back to you later on, hopefully with this done. Uh, but that's the end of this particular uh, video, post it up like this. Actually, we're back. we've got up to this point. Now, I'm going to try something else. Gonna see now if I tighten up where I've actually got these in so they're not falling out there, and then what we'll do is open the gap up at the top end where I need to fill it up. So hopefully it's tight everywhere else, it's gapped up where I'm trying to put them through, and we'll see how, how that well that works.
Oh, the satisfying point. So, how many have we got in place? Right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Now, the idea, so I'm another 13, what I'm going to try and do is open this out at this top, but the bottom bits are, are tightened up, so hopefully get the gap here. To do it, to insert, but keeping the others tightened up with the that's the idea. Although I've got a feeling that it could liable to be everything falling apart when I do it. Okay. That's another one. Does that give him place now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Oh, I can't bloody count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So I need another 9 to go in there. Right, that's another 9. 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 Right, Four in there without everything falling apart. <sighs> this is where it possibly all falls apart again. But if we we'll do that just a, a tiny, tiny bit, so that these got just a little bit more gaps to go into. Can we get them to go down then? Moment. Tiny, tiny bit more. Come on, come on, you buggers. Two, three, four, 
Can we get one more in and then I think we're yes. I think we tighten up and hope that it doesn't all spill out with the tightening. You know what, there we go. There should be no free movement. The added body weight will ease any tightness. Fully tightened. So, I mean, well, certainly isn't any free movement. So, right, we got through half a page and we'll call it quits at that. So, see you in the next one. I hope this hasn't been too long for for anybody i'm not quite sure how long this video has done have we done an hour probably so see you later on and just to show you that's where we've got to that's where we've got to so you know i think the basics of it i do are, are done but there's another half a page there and well no we've done enough for today so we'll see you next time